Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I've done similar videos in the past and I'm going to revisit this one because it just came up again. All right, so this is uh, one an error is not really an error and specifically an HTTP error. And I want to walk through this with you because uh, you may even have this and just not aware of it. So here's an HTML um, page and it came back and it said error, right? And it says, we're sorry, blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff. So the client did a trace and, and here's our trace of this error and they went through it and they can't find anything um, to leverage to look for future issues so what they did was they went to statistics they went down to HTTP and they went to packet counter and here you can see it says uh, broken none server error none and client error none so there's no real quote-unquote errors from a protocol perspective right if you want to think of it that way so I'm going to sort by count and if we take a look here at the bottom, you'll see zeros for other informational client error, server error, and broken. So there's no real errors. And when you look at the counted commands, if you will, or packets, you'll see there's a redirection, move permanently, and an OK, and that kind of thing. So there's nothing really out of the ordinary if you would just kind of just look at it at a, at a high level. And that's what they said to me. They said, you know, we went through this a couple of times already. We never see a server error or a client error in information, which is fantastic. That's a great place to start. So now we know what it isn't. And they said, they, we, we need to be able to find this a little more efficiently. And I said, all right. So we're going to close this off. And the first thing I suggested was, let's just do an HTTP filter, because we know it came back in some kind of HTTP protocol, right? Some kind of page. The other thing good about this is it's using port 80, so there's no SSL involved, no encryption and stuff like that. We can actually see the payload. So here we can see all the HTTP stuff, right? That's okay. And you can see this is that move permanently thing. And to me, this is kind of a, a red flag, not necessarily an issue, right? This is just something I always get curious about. So you did a get, something was moved, you went and did another get, obviously, and it came back okay, right? So everything's fine. But if you look inside the actual payload, and let's look inside here, line-based protocol, and there's error, right? So error, H1, your header, right? And it says, we're sorry this page cannot be displayed, right? And there it is, error. We're sorry, this page is not going to be displayed. So this is that, right? And they said to me, oh, cool, all right, so that's that. But we can't do this for every single connection, conversation user. Is there an easier way to find the error page? I said, sure. So up in our display filter, we can use something, uh, data text lines. And I'm sorry, it's data dash text dash lines, space contains space error. If I press enter, I only get the one packet. So you can use this display filter to find the packets with that error. And then they know the destination is the client and they know exactly who's experiencing that error if, if that's what they want to do. So there you go. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.